process of elections, particularly when you know that eight people died in the last election. Before then, there was, a, of course, I asked who was going, and, and so no perpetrators are brought to book. Nache, should we be worried or should we not? Your party even held a press conference to that if making all those accusations. Good morning to Roland once again, and good morning to our viewers. Roland, before I come to the security matters, for the past few nights, I mean, it's been sleepless for me. You've not been sleeping. Thinking about the cruelty of the NPP. What have they done to you? To, wanting to feed or having fed school children and wholesome rice. And then when you watch the videos, I ask myself, would I feed these to the dogs in my home? Or would I even feed this to my worst enemy? So, Roland, you see, so when I make this point and you squint in disagreement, <laughs> I, I don't get you. <laughs> but that is the reality on the ground. That why would the NPP and Dananado Danko Kufuado and Dr. Baumia... You're talking about the Mushosho Rice rebargain debacle. ...be so cruel to the extent that they would wish sickness and death on young people. Roland, I'm asking you, would you give the visuals we saw of the, of the rice, would you give it to the dogs in your home? Would you? The ministry said they are investigating. So that you actually proceed to incur veterinary services. I'm not sure that you would do that. But in the wisdom of the NPP, that's why I keep saying that when wisdom calls, the NPP must listen. And then the NPP must be human enough to admit that they are, no more, they, they, they are not more human than any Ghanaian. And so what the NPP should be doing is to be rendering an unqualified apology to parents and to students for having put their lives on the line once again. Galamse put the lives of uh, Ghanaians on the line. Rotting rice put the lives of, 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 of students on the line. Anytime the NPP attempt to say that they, are, they have outperformed the NDC, it is because they have done worse. We need an apology. The investigation must be fast-tracked. And everyone who is found culpable must be brought to book. And I'm wondering why parents are not angry and on the streets. If I had a child in the free SHS and government feeds my, my, my ward this food, I'm not sure that I'll take it lightly with government. And I'm also wondering the silence of the Ghana Medical Association that you watch on for government to feed school children with unwholesome rice, and then we keep quiet. Where is organized labor? We can't even find them. No, okay. the ministry said they are investigating. Roland, the NPP will continually do what is bad. The NPP is an example of everything bad. Then they will come back and say, we are apologizing. It shouldn't be the case. And that is why this morning, I'm happy, though I've been sleepless, that it is just some 16 days to end the rot. It is just some 16 days to apply the brakes on the cruelty, on the incompetence, on the mismanagement of the economy by the NPP. Nothing useful to add there. Now let's come to the security matters. And to let you know that, and so as ordinary Ghanaians, we actually appreciate the role of the security services, be it the police, the military, in wanting to protect the peace that we have. And did you hear the, the, the military man who spoke? He says that the only good thing we are enjoying now is the peace. <laughs> it means that it is an admission that even to the military, the economy is in tatters. It is an admission. That's not what he said, though. He did say did he the economy. Say? He said we're maintaining the peace. The only thing that Ghana is enjoying now, the only good thing we are enjoying now is the peace. We are not enjoying any better economic conditions. He didn't say that, Nigel. Roland, he said the only good thing. When we say one, the only means one. Don't let me, don't, it shouldn't be a lecture. The only means one. It means there is none other. And so all other indicators of the economy, whether it's cost of living, whether it's education, what have you, they are all in the gutters. They are all in tatters. What we are saying is that the ordinary Ghanaian would not also, in appreciating the role of the military, actually cower into a certain submission to be intimidated by the military. The economic mismanagement 
the high cost of living and the low standard of living has been intimidating and has weakened us enough. And so on 7th December, the assurance we also have for the military is that we would comply. We would go to the polling station. We would vote. And we would be vigilant. Because you see, as a political party, as the NDC, and as a Ghanaian, as Nache, I would not only leave the vigilance to the military. I would not leave the free and fair and transparency of an election to the EC. No. Every well-meaning Ghanaian that wants to see an end to the incompetence we are seeing must be up, right, with anger and in hunger to vote against the NPP. No. What the man so, said was that if you vote, leave the place. You see, I haven't said what the man said is wrong. What I'm saying is that Ghanaians would comply with the directions given by the military. But that doesn't mean that we will forfeit our vigilance. That doesn't mean that we will forfeit our wanting to partake in an electoral process and make it free and fair. That doesn't mean that the presence of police military will cover anybody into a certain submission, into a certain fright, so that when we see something, we won't say something. We are active partakers in this election and no military intimidation, no abuse of incumbency would actually cower anybody into fright. Now, I'll continue with Cordeo's, Cordeo's um, assessment, um, ass assessment and that concerns they've raised. there is actually an abuse of incumbency. And that is why I say that the NPP is the example of everything bad in what this country. And don't be surprised to hear the NPP come to say that this Cordeo report was instigated by the NDC. Anytime the NPP is caught pants down, they blame it on any other thing but themselves. But Roland, you see, at the core of what Cordeo is saying is that there is, there is a certain wanton dissipation of public funds. It means that the viewer who is watching this morning, his taxes, her taxes are being mismanaged for, I mean, and skewed towards one particular uh, um, party, and that is the incumbent NPP. Now, to also say that, don't worry, I'll wrap up shortly. To also say that, it tells you that the MPP and Anad Rankwe Kufuado and Dr. Baumia have a sense of entitlement that is repugnant and nauseating to see the, the to, to, say, to, to say the least. Now, the report and the, the, the assessment of Cordeo says that MPP parliamentary candidates have actually defaced the drip machines that were deployed to the constituencies, and I'm sure you saw that. Abuse of incumbency is also when, under His Excellency Nanado Danko Kufuado, eight lives were lost in the election you covered, Roland. Until today, nobody has been reprimanded. Even the email short commission's report that says that Brigadier General Michael Opoku should be actually reprimanded for his supervision of the bloodshed on that day. Today, he has actually been promoted. When we say abuse of incumbency, we are talking about Nana Kufad and Dr. Baumia reckless appointment of party faithfuls in the likes of Dr. Bosman and Dr. Pia Hene to the Electoral Commission. That is the exemplification of what we say abuse of incumbency. Now, abuse of incumbency is when COVID did you good and you come back to tell us that COVID did you bad. When in reality, the World Bank gave you 600 million. When in reality you received okay, one billion from the rapid credit facility of the IMF, and their own parliamentary candidate for Sagner, Rugu, tell us, Felicia Tete, tells us that they actually used the, the, uh, this COVID money to chew kebab, kelewele, and to share, Roland, don't squint your eyes, and to share for party faithfuls. And so the, the NPP goes beyond these, these funds they receive from donors and then come and actually. Levy you and I, Roland, look at me. Levy you and I to pay COVID levy. That is abuse, right, of incumbency. It is countless in wrapping up another abuse of incumbency that should anger all of us, the ordinary Ghanaian, is the fraudulent sole source contracts that Nanado Dankwe Kufuado has given to his daughters and Dr. Baumia has given to his brother who runs the company called Resources Access Limited. 
if this is not the, the wanton dissipation of public funds, if this is not abuse of incumbency, I don't know what that is. Finally, Roland, no. the good people of Ghana must end the rot. They must end the reckless expenditure. They must end the incompetence. They must end... No words to actually describe Dr. Baumia, but to say that he's an economic mismanager and an oppressor. Two minutes for you. Let's try and wrap up. Our time is up. Now, so, um, maintaining the peace, what should be the caution to your members and everybody else? The security apparatus, the electoral commission, making sure on voting day, and then also thereafter. You know, Techiman South happened uh, after the, the polls, uh, late in the evening. It was even live on TV. No, so... I would only urge all peace-loving Ghanaians to vote peacefully against a party that doesn't love peace, and that's the NPP. I'll show you shortly. Because, you see, when we, we sat here and we spoke about the eight lives that were lost in the 2020 election, until today, not even one life has been ac accounted for. I'm thinking that the right thing to do is to, at best, account for their lives right, or reach out sympathies to the families who lost their relatives. But at the beginning of this submission, and, and I mentioned something, that the president doesn't care about us. How? And so if the president doesn't care about us, we care about ourselves and our peace. You ask me how? I'll render this in chi and ga. Omu omu e wu, right? Omu omu e wu, enfanu hu. Omu omu tiase, omu omu enfanu hu. Omu omu e wu, those who are dead are the eight lives we lost. Omu omu are the people of Efutu and the victims of the Akosomo spillage, who the president says that you deserve your pain. And Adanko Ekufuado looked in the faces of chiefs in Efutu and victims of a spillage that his administration supervised and told them that you deserve the pain. The president didn't say that. What did he say? He says that you deserve this pain. And then it is because I am here as a president, I wouldn't have come. Because you don't even vote for me. It means in the estimation of the president, it is only those who vote for him that deserve something good. Anytime you make an attempt to vote against the president, then you deserve all the hell. So my edge beyond the peace is to the good people of Ghana that we are some 16 days away from resetting the country. We are some 16 days away from actually saving ourselves from the clutches of the wicked, incompetent, reckless Akufuado uh, uh, Baumia administration. Because for eight years, what have they done? They have actually deteriorated every fiber of the economy. They they don't care whether you lose their life in an election. They won't hold anybody or reprimand anybody, even when a commission says so. If any tragedy befalls you, if you are not voting for them, they are not coming to your aid. That is the kind of precedent and vice the people of Ghana voted for in 2016 and 2020. This is an opportunity. 7 December is here again. For us to right the wrongs that we did, and vote for His Excellency John Ramani Mahama, who in the face of crisis will not heckle us, who in the face of crisis will not make mockery of our situation. Get your voters' ID card, good people of Ghana, and vote against the elephant. And then to land, it will shock you or interest you to know, even the MPP parliamentary candidates are not in support of their flag bearer. In my own constituency, Le Jokuku, the team there is actually campaigning for JM. And similar instances it, have uh, been reported. It, it, it cannot be. So. Ah, are, are you a politician? I'm a politician. I'm on the ground, and I'm telling you what is on the ground. <laughs> hey. They've actually left their flag bearer, Elona, and then they are campaigning for His Excellency John Ramani Mahama. But let me tell the good people of Ghana that we are not going for skirt and blouse. We are voting for the for the umbrella for presidential and the umbrella for parliamentary, yeah. so that we end the rot Two and reset for you the country.